Hello and welcome back to another one of my coin videos and today we've got something a bit special for everyone. We have what's called the £20 eBay Challenge CoinJuber Special. Now, before I start cracking this open because I'm really dying to get inside, it's been sat over there for two weeks and I've been just wanting to know what's inside it. Um, let me explain what the premise of this whole video is. Now, a few... well, a wee... A wee while ago, a few coin tubers, including myself, we all got together and set ourselves a wee challenge. Uh, we set ourselves a value of £20. Let's go on eBay and find the best coin related item. So whatever's in this box is to the value of £20. You'll notice there's a wee stamp on here. That has nothing to do with the £20. So if this item here came from Antarctica and cost 30 quid. So be it. That's on them. Nothing to do with the £20 value. So, anyway. Let me explain who else is taking part. There's, obviously, there's me, but uh, there's also Absolute Coins, there's Bungle Collects Coins, there's Christopher Collects, there's Coin Cupboard, and Coins to Collect. So, yes, you'll notice down below there's a whole series of links. That's uh, to the other Coin Tubers videos that are also taking part. What to do after you've watched this video, go down there and check their links out. Um, you've got to watch all their videos. I know it's a bit of a big ask, but check their videos out because you finally decide who wins this challenge. So yeah, you'll notice a wee link even further down below. That was Christopher. Uh, he's set up a straw poll and uh, it'll look a little bit like this. And the, the main function of that is once you've watched everyone's videos, you have, to, you have the power. You've got to decide which coin tuber received the best gifts. Now you have until Monday, 31st of October to decide. Uh, soon after that, we'll close the poll down. We'll take a snapshot and re uh, reveal who the winner is. Well, Christopher will reveal who the winner is on his channel. And we'll also, at a later date, get together and have a wee group chat, which will also be recorded and uh, popped up on Christopher's channel at a later date. We'll find out in that video who bought what, who bought who what, etc, etc. So... Also, don't forget to keep up with all our social media because we'll, we'll probably plug updates on the likes of Instagram, uh, Discord, Twitter, Facebook, all of those. You'll find out all the up-to-date bits there. So without further ado, let's open up the box and find out what's what. I've been excited. Got to say hi to the scissors. Um, I'll probably speed this bit up. So uh, let's see what happens. Hey, <laughs> I'm looking forward to this. Here we go. Now the big reveal. Let's find out. What do we have here? I'll put the scissors away safely so I don't accidentally cut my hand off. Um, just going to check this out. Might have something important in it. Oh, it's got a wee note here. Just let me see what's going on. We also had to do it in a type so we couldn't identify each other's handwriting. So <laughs> here we go. Hello, Mr. Caledonian Coins. You have been chosen. The CoinTuber eBay challenge is ready to go. The £20 was spent well. Six coin currency related gifts were bought for you. Please open them in order one to six. Ooh. Number one. We have to say hello to the cats. Okay, right. So let me look for these items. Tissue paper. Oh, item number one. We have to say hello to the cats. Purchase price 60p. Okay. Interesting. I might need my scissors after all. <laughs> there we go. Oh, <laughs> got to say hi to the cats. Tom Kitten. Well, lovely. That is a lovely condition as well. Well, I'm happy with that. <laughs> it's a video over, done. I think you've won. <laughs> oh, look at that. Good condition, that's lovely. Look at that. Anyway, I'm not here for the cats. We're here for me. Nah, I'm joking. I like that, thank you. Pop that just down to the side. Number two. As you did a bit of touring with family, being in military, Here's a cool British Armed Forces 10p note, only, only to be used in the canteen, etc. Wow. Really curious. 
whoever done this has done their homework on us. Put a lot of thought into it, really. Oh, wow. <laughs> That's amazing. Oh, I'm going to have a wee peek at that. How to hope it's open. Oh. A bonus free note enclosed too. There we go. A bonus free note enclosed too. Russian. Purchase price 99p. Let's have a wee look at these. They've certainly done their homework. They know I do banknotes as well. Oh, can't open it without damaging I don't want to damage it. Get the sticky tape, eh? Here we go. Let's have a look at this. I'll remove the tape. Look at that. British Armed Forces. 10 new pence. Special voucher issued by command of the Defence Council. Oh, wow. That's pretty impressive. Look at the detailing on that. I love the swirls. That is amazing. What does that say? The use only is detailed on the reverse. Oh, here we go. Here's a detail. This note is valid for transactions within official canteens and organisations laid down in the GROs of the theatre, except as may be expressively provided in GROs. It must in no circumstances be offered to any person who is not entitled to use British service canteens. Improper use of this note is a disciplinary offence and may render the offender liable to penalties. Wow, that's pretty impressive. And this one here. Russian, you think? 2000, is it rubles? I'm going to have to check this one out. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. When was that from? 2000, so... What does that say? Mm, I wonder if I've got any Russian-speaking friends or... anyone who understands what that says. It'll be interesting to find out, yeah. Thank you very much. So, we'll move on to number three. I'll pop these quickly away. Now, number three. While touring in the earlier days, you ended up in Canada, right? Well, here is a silver 25 cent from 1966. I chose this year as it was also a great year for English football. Ha ha. <laughs> oh, an element of cheek there, but yeah. Oh. Let's have a look at this. Number three, silver 25 cents from 1966. Oh, wow. Look at that. The caribou. Oh, 1966, eh? Okay. Okay, dokie. <laughs> That's amazing. Number three. Now, on to the second note. Let's see what this says. Uh, now, number four. Since you can't find one here, but no, it's not going in the album. Okay. Since you can't find one here, but no, it's not going on the album. Okay. Let's have a look. Let's see. Because I'm constantly saying things like I find coins in my change, but it doesn't go on the album, it doesn't qualify. I certainly watch my channel a lot, whoever sent these. <laughs> yep, it's definitely not going in the album. That's pretty amazing, no? Well thought out, thank you very much. There we go. Let's have a wee peek at that. Wheelchair rugby. It's pretty decent nick as well, isn't it? Look at this. Nice. 50 pence. Olympic. Whoa. They've certainly thought this all through. This is amazing. Nice. Now, on to number five. I know you like stamps. So here is an awesome FTC from Guernsey. 
coin related stamps, what more could you want? So it's a first aid cover, 99p, let's have a look. Ooh, wow, Battle of Guernsey. I do like the territory stuff, don't I? Look at that. Got each denomination on each stamp. If I just move that down a little bit so you can view it. You've got the half, wait, half new penny, one new penny, two new pence. Well, that's a, that's the new pence, sorry. And there's the one pence. The two pence, 1977. Five pence. The ten pence. And the 25 pence. Wow. And it's very apt that all of these are 1977. You must know your home. You must have done your homework, surely. Yeah, you know. You know. This is a pretty impressive gift, though. I'll keep that very safe. Thank you very much. That's that's pretty special. Now, number six. Last but not least, the big one. I saw something similar to this on another Queen Tubers channel a while ago. Since you are a Scotsman, I thought you may like this. It's the Scottish pattern of what the Euros may have looked like if the UK was to have adopted the euro. Oh wow, <laughs> this is interesting. Let's have a look at this. Oh, oh, this is nice. I f just the, the feel of this is top notch. Oh, that's quality. Oh, oh wow, wow. Limited edition pattern euro collection coin, United Kingdom, Scotland. 2003. Oh, I've got to have a. I'll read it out in a second. And let's have a look at this. This looks. <gasps> that's a. That's astounding. That's, a, that's astonishing. Look at that. It's so shiny. <laughs> wow. I don't want to touch them. I've got gloves, but I don't want to touch them. Do you have them on there? I may go and get my gloves. Just a second. I'm so glad I bought these now. So glad. Because that means I can have a look at the other side of them without damaging the coin. Look at that. Where do I start? Oh, I can't even get my finger in there. The glove's too thick. Oh. Let's appreciate this just now, shall we? Look at that, look at that, 50 cent, 20 cent, 10 cent, it's got the hands like the 50p did, that is a nice touch, the 1973 50 pence with the, the, the ring of hands, that is a nice touch, oh what's the boat? Wow, that's amazing. <laughs> I really want to turn these over, but my gloves won't let me. Uh, dare I, dare I. Oh, I might have a look at these in just a moment, but look at that. Look at that. Astonishing. That's <laughs> beautiful. This all. Oh, I'm going to have to read this now. Right. Anyway, where were we? United Kingdom, Scotland pattern, Euro Collection 2003, a series of designs based on three important events. The English and Scottish Thrones United. That would be like the Act of Union, is it? Invocation of the Thrones was important because it ended two terrible rivalries between Scottish and English monarchs. Never again would there be bloody expeditions of Robert the Bruce or the awful intrigues of Mary Queen of Scots. The obverses of the pattern 2 euro, 1 euro, and 5 2 and 1 cent coins feature the enthroned monarch in a style similar to that of the gold sovereign coins of Elizabeth I, James I, a rose, and thistle 
to the left and right of the throne. Might be on the obverse, yeah? Let's have a look. I wonder if I can get this out. We can't get it out. <laughs> This is a, this is astonishing. I'm gonna go and get something to help me lever these out. Two seconds. There we go. Finally managed to get one out. There's the thistle bottom corner and rose on the other bottom corner with the monarch. Um, it says that those will be on the obverse of all the other ones. So that's a two euro, one euro, five, two in one. Versus lines which celebrate the UK's heritage of pears with fruit fairs motifs in the dove, sailing ship, and scales of justice. UK celebrates 30 years in Europe, so that's 1973. Common market. Let's move the hands. And the 50th anniversary of the coronation. So, yes, I'm going to just leave that there. If you feel like uh, having a wee read of that, feel free to pause it. And there's your pattern specifications. Oh, this is in, this is really lovely. Whoever whoever bought this, you've gone above and beyond. Like, thank you so much. I'm gonna have a proper proper look at this. I don't want to damage them with my oily fingers. <laughs> I need those finger gloves that they have at the mint. That's what I need. So I can't get in my fingers in there. Ah. Yep. Oh, got that one out. Hooray, let's have a look. Touch the sides. There we go. That's a much better detailing of the monarch. There's your thistle. There's your rose. That's incredible. I'm going to pop that straight back in there. Pop that straight back in there. Not touch it. Handy wee cotton bud. I shall have a look at this proper in just a wee while after the video. So I'm trying to keep the video short. Short and sweet so we can get on and get on with the voting. Well, that's, that's just, that's worthy of its own video, that. Now, this brings a grand total of my purchases on eBay to 19 pound 98. As I'm two piece short, I found some more stamp first day cover, which may interest you, thanks. Be sure to check out all the other coin tubers involved in this eBay challenge. Links in the description, of course. Bonus. <laughs> nice. First day cover. The definitive values Scotland. 1982. Oh, wow. Even got half peas on it. First day issue. That's pretty lovely, like. I do love that. And what's this one? Fire 10. Ooh, first day issue. Nice. And Guernsey. Wow, well, look at Guernsey. Oh, that's that. Uh, that's pretty impressive. I like that. I don't think I've got one of those. I'll need to find me one now. Guernsey Post Office. That's impressive. Thank you very much. You got all these for two pence? How did you manage that? That's a, <laughs> some bid. Wow, what a star. You got all this stuff you got for 20 pounds. Look at all. Tom Kitten, a military forces canteen voucher, a Russian banknote, <laughs> a silver, yes, repeat, silver. 25 cents. 
This is priceless, to me anyway. It's, I've been looking for one of these for so, so long. It's nice to actually see one. I had so many friends and colleagues and CoinTuber friends who were finding them and I was still not finding mine. So that that is amazing, thank you. Got some first aid covers from Guernsey. We've got incredible, even just this. This feels so lovely. I just, I'm going to be staring at that for hours. I've got a feeling that's going to be... I'm going to be sitting talking to Lisa later on, showing her all this. There we go. And we've got some first aid covers with the remaining change. That's impressive. That is impressive. So, yes, don't forget to check out the other CoinTubers uh, links in the description down below. Uh, that's exactly what I'm going to be doing first thing when these are all out. This is incredible. I, I, I'm totally speechless. Whoever whoever this is, you've gone above and beyond. And I, I love all of you. I totally, totally love all of you. Oh, man. Anyway, I'm going to dash off there now. Don't forget to visit the, the straw poll. The link's down below. Uh, what will happen is Christopher will probably publish that on his uh, channel soon after the draw is closed on the midnight, 31st of October. Yeah, get the right month. <laughs> Um, soon afterwards, we'll all get together, have a wee coin tuber group chat, find out who sent who what, and I can personally thank whoever got me all this. This is incredible. Anyway, I'm off for now. If you're having a hunt, have a happy one, and thank you very much for watching. See ya.